Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and today I'm back on because I want to make a wee um, gift box to match my money wallet that I made. You'll see the video, the one previous to this. So I'm using the same colours, that's why I showed you this, but I'm doing it slightly different. It's to hold a lovely wee necklace that I'm giving to somebody as a present. So what you need to start making this really simple, quick and easy box. Boxes are all about how you decorate them rather than how you make them. So never get overwhelmed by making a wee box. They are quite simple. So what you're going to need from my particular box, I'm making it to size to hold a wee necklace. Um, the card I'm using is Magenta Madness, I think you call it, from Stampin' Up. It is three and a half inches wide by eight inches, no, by seven inches long. Seven and a half inches long, sorry. Let's get this right yet. Three and a half by seven and a half, and we're going to score it. So I have my scores done here because I had to double check. So go your longest side, score half an inch, three and a half, four inches and seven inches, which brings you to seven and a half. Turn it round and go half an inch and three inches. And that is it for your score. Really simple and quick. Whoa. So um, you can do your cutting now if you want. We're going to make this box fold up like so. And the sides flop down. So one end is going to be your top and one end is going to be your solid bottom. So you need to do a tiny bit of cutting. In the center, cut your two um, center pieces there. Just, just get a wee V out of them. Cut it a bit better than what I'm cutting it. Goodness me. So do those two. At both sides, just do the same. Ugh. So as you can see, we need to cut these ones to make your corner box. I'm all fingers and thumbs today. So cut in one of them. Go to your triangle point there and just cut it right up. And that will fold in as you see, fold these. Like this. And that should fold nicely and give you a lovely wee corner. And just nice and neat. So do the same on the other side. Cut in to the, the score line and cut up from there. Same on this side. And this one. And then we're going to decorate it. So you just decide which one is going to be your front. I shall say this one should close down on top of this one. So this is my top layer. So I have got all my bits and pieces cut for decorating this. So you're going to need two strips this side for your uh, top and bottom here and they measure two and a quarter by three eighths of an inch. You're going to need two longer ones for down here and they measure two and a quarter by three eighths. No sorry two and three quarters by three eighths and two and one quarter by three eighths. And then your two pieces for here and here they measure two and a quarter by two and three quarters. So we're just going to stick them in place. I've made it so you've got a nice wee rim the whole way around. And you just need to add a bit of glue. And just centre it. It's easier to do it when it's nice and flat than when your box is actually made. Mm 
Let's see if I it. And then a wee bit of glue on your two long ones. I'm only decorating the front sides, not the back end of the box. I'm going to leave it. No point in going mad. So I cut the paper so that the stripes were running down the way. It's just for a wee bit of variety. When you pull that up, it looks like a stripes is going around this way. Fast forward through my glue bits to see if you any hassle. So just do the same for this bit and this bit. Now I want to put a wee um, tiny opening at the front here. So I'm sliding in my one inch. You could go with something smaller and I'm not going right up to the top. But I will try and get it in the centre-ish. I just want a wee slip so that it's easy to pull that bit up. I'm also not going to make my box yet because I want to put the insides into it. So I have cut two pieces of card and one I have added two wee slits and they'll fit in there exactly and they measure, I'm sure I had them written but in inches it's three and seven eighths by two and a quarter so they are both the same size but one has the slits cut for sliding the necklace in and the other is plain and I want to do a bit of stamping on them. So I shall get this this i am putting a butterfly on the front like so i have die cut the back and i cut the front so no stamping at all this will be stuck here and the wings curled up so that will be sitting here there's going to be nothing else really on the front of it um, and the set that i use is called butterfly brilliance this one here i'm going to use one of the butterflies to sort of stamp inside just to leave a wee like marking around the edges and i'm also going to use the melon marble it's actually melon marble not magenta madness so we're not using all of the the butterfly just inking up that edge there and sort of getting it i'm getting some wings let's see what it comes out like that um, ink is really rough, isn't it? Really deep. Probably shouldn't have went for such a deep one. So I'll just off clip it now again. I'll stamp a better cut more ink. Just wanted that wee blurred edge around the edge just to add a wee bit of interest. And tie it in with a butterfly at the front. So, that will be enough and that's the part that will have the necklace on it and this is the wee necklace that I bought. It's a beautiful wee thing and um, hard to see in this but it actually has four wee hearts and it can also um, lock together this way yeah that's it. it's like magnetized to close into like a wee clover so i thought it was lovely uh, to add to my daughter-in-law's gift parcel so i'm going to slide into these wee notches that i've cut down just about a centimeter just to hold it in place for me And it'll just sit like this and this bit will just hide behind. So that will sit in the box like so. And now we want to stamp a sentiment here. And I've chosen wishing you a wonderful birthday. And it's from an older set, elegantly said. It's hard to see my white card. Make sure I'm getting this straight. So you could add the birthday girl's name or whatever if you wanted. Nice wee box for rosary beads or whatever for Holy Communions, things like that. So I'm just again delicately stamping around the edge.
and that should be enough for those two pieces there. So we'll stick these in place and your secret now is to make sure you get the right one in the right place. So this is the opening of the box. So this will be where the necklace is and that isn't being stuck down. It's just, I bet you know something. I'm actually going to put some double-sided pieces that will hold it to the box and keep the the necklace in place and you can just clip it off the necklace end rather than it's swishing about. Just sort of making a wee holder that, that can slide down there. And I'm just going to put another two pieces on the top. So that will hold that. That and I might leave the top so that it um, it's easy for her to flip that back to get the necklace out. Just make sure it's fitting where you want it to go and then slide that inside and that should hold that nice for you and we'll just put the top one flat on the box it doesn't need to be raised up so she will open the box and she'll see this then inside just want to make sure I've got it not upside down. And then I'm going to use a slightly stronger glue to do our box part up. I did forget to score my lines, which wasn't too clever, but just press them with your fingers. So we'll just pop a wee bit of glue on these so just make sure you've got it nice and square in your corners because you want this to close over the top of it nicely to give them a good press raise that up that one in and that one. So that's fairly nice. Press these ones that I forgot to score probably. And then you need to add a bit of glue to these ones here. Fold it in, make sure it's nice and square. So that should be your box nicely finished. Pretty pleased with that, and we just want to decorate the top of it. Oh, I need that again anyway. So this patch is just going to be the underneath. I just I thought it was a bit lost going directly on in. You could actually uh, stamp something across there if you wanted, which we might do. <coughs> this is the die cut flat piece, and this is the die cut butterfly, which came as a bundle. Oh, I've got a tickly cough. To curl these a wee bit more. I 
just fill that bit up. And that. And you could stick that one flat onto it and decide if you want to put something up there before you stick it. I'm going to see if I've got a nice sentiment. So I went through ribbon, I went through stamps, and then I decided I'm going to go a belly band. So I cut a wee strip, it's about half an inch. And um, I'm just hand wrapping it. Maybe a wee bit into the centre there. Just use the lines to keep you nice and straight if you have a lined paper like I have. So we well, don't want it overly tight. I want to be able to slide it off easily and I just want enough to overlap it to secure it. So I'm just adding a wee plank of glue there. And that should hold my piece together. And make sure that it's it'll slide for you without too much hassle. Seems okay. So just hand press those. And then this butterfly is just going to be stuck just where here, not not to the actual box, obviously, because you want to slide off. So roughly I need it. be okay and just set your butterfly on and that's a decorated not so bad I just couldn't find the right sentiment so that will be your box this shall slide off and inside if your lovely wee necklace and your birthday details I'm really pleased with that. I think she'll like it. So that was me. I'll have all the measurements on my blog. And I'll write down what things are used, even though they probably aren't available anymore. But, you know, you look in your stash, see what you have. Everybody has butterflies and everybody has um, fancy papers of some sort. So if you need a, a, necklace, a box for a necklace, that should do your job. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all again later. Bye.